everyone, and welcome back to another lunchtime vlog. I am back at work, and today we are having, let's see, we are having fish and potatoes. Now, I will tell you, I'm not a huge fan of fish, especially if it tastes fishy. She don't like it. But, fingers crossed, because I'm really, really hungry, and there's nothing else to eat. So, I didn't want to have to actually go out to eat. Um, so I went in the cafe. So I got me some good old Heinz tartar sauce. And the potatoes actually look um, pretty decent. So I'm hoping those are good. Um, so I'm going to say a prayer bless my food and then we are going to eat and chit chat so okay so for those of y'all who don't know um and if you don't know i, I would imagine you have to either be living in a a very far away place from the United States or you would have to be living under a rock. Hurricane Laura made landfall. Actually it was another one. I can't think of what the other one's name was because that one kind of dissipated. Uh, once it hit land it just fell apart. Um, but both of them were actually headed directly towards Louisiana. Um, Texas and Louisiana and the way that the storms were coming in, they were coming in like this, so at some point they were going to overlap and hit Louisiana at the same time. But it dissipated. Laura, on the other hand, she called a major attitude, and the original forecast was that she was going to come in at a Category 3. Well, I don't know if she was PMSing or what was going on with her, but she came in at a Category 4 and tore up a whole bunch of stuff. So... Yeah, fortunately for us here in Houston, the wind shear pushed her off to the east. And so a large portion of uh, the area wasn't impacted, but uh, my daughter is living in Beaumont and we had to go out Monday night and get her because that area was impacted by Harvey back, you know, a couple years ago and it flooded real bad. So the storm was was coming directly, you know, towards that area. So we had to rush out and go get her because she couldn't stay out there. Um, I don't know, I haven't spoken with anyone out in that area for them to be able to tell us if the area was damaged. I haven't seen anything on the news. Not really sure, you know, how hard they were hit, but um, definitely not as hard as uh, Louisiana. So, I don't know. Y'all forgive me because I, I want to... Oh, it don't smell bad. So, I mean, obviously it's not fresh, but... Uh, so, yeah. So, we had to go get her. So, she's still with us. Um, scheduled to go back. I guess by the by the time y'all see this video, she would have already gone home. So, anyway. <sighs> yeah. So bad for Louisiana. Louisiana, over the last, like, since, what is this, last 15, 16 years, they have just really had, they've been on the rough side of the receiving end of a lot of storms. Mm. That's not bad. 
I mean, it wouldn't be my first choice, but it's edible. And we're just going to go ahead and eat it because, like I said, she hungry. But anyway, yeah, I feel bad, um, you know, for the people that live in Louisiana because they have just really been on the rough side of the receiving end of, of you know, bad weather for a while. Because um, you had Katrina in 2005. And then you had Rita. Then you had Ike. And then I, I believe they were impacted by Harvey, too. I'm not for sure. But it has just not been good. So, anyway, I did go back live um, Thursday, the 27th. So, I went live. I made a few announcements about um, what was going to be happening for the September celebration. So y'all better be paying attention to my community tab because we're going to have some stuff coming up. Videos are going to start dropping September 1st. Actually, the very first one is going to be August 31st because there's going to be a Monday video that features my product faves. And those faves are going to be given away to one of my members that, that win. I'm going to spin the wheel and the wheel is going to pick the winner. So whoever the wheel says wins will get the product faves that I feature in that video. So I'm going to do a product phase. The very first one is going to be on that Monday, the 31st of August. And then it's going to be every Monday after that for the month of September. And then I'm going to be doing a members only live stream every Tuesday evening. Yeah. Well, we're going to be playing games and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So she ready to celebrate. Mm-hmm. How about y'all? I hope so. My birthday actually falls on a Wednesday. I don't usually go live on Wednesdays. But I'm having my virtual birthday party on Wednesday. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I hope this fish don't hurt my stomach because it's fried. I hope not. Well, it's fried, but I don't know. It don't look like the oil was clean. So I just said I should have brought me something to drink. Then I thought about it. I was like, that wouldn't have been a good idea because my stomach starts hurting when I try to drink and eat at the same time. Anyway, maybe one day I will do a live lunch. What do y'all think? <clears throat> Leave me a comment down below. If you would like me to actually go live and do the vlog live. Mm -hmm. Instead of pre-recording. Let me know. Anything's possible. So, I think I might have to wind up taking something. At least it's not, I don't like soft fish. I'm a texture person. So, certain things, I always say there's certain things are not supposed to be um, mushy.
So, I just don't feel like fish, when I eat it, it's, it's, I don't, it shouldn't be soft. Not soft unless you bake it. Now, if you bake it, that's different, you know, because that's, that's the texture it's going to come out to be. I think I want no more there. I think I brought a plum. I'm probably gonna eat a few more potatoes. Then eat and go wash my plum off. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. I think I done ate as much of that other uh, fish as I can. Maybe my husband want to put it in the air fryer or something. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah, so anyway. So I'm excited about everything. I have a lot of plans for, the, you know, the, uh, uh, plans to get some things done before the end of the year. And... I'm really pushing to try to meet my deadline. Um, there's some things business related, some things personally related. Um, just got a nice little to-do list that I need to be working on. And so uh, hopefully I can bring you all along with me so you can see some of the things that I do outside of YouTube. Um, that'll give you a better understanding of the type of services that I'm trying to offer so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here I can't eat any more this fish it's not settling right on my stomach I think it's because of the grease I don't have my gallbladder so I can't really eat a lot of greasy stuff anyway but I'm gonna grab a few more of these potatoes and I think what I'm gonna do is um, go back to my desk and I have a plum go wash off my plum enjoy that plum and some uh because i bought some cranberry juice earlier enjoy that plum and cranberry juice and that's gonna be the rest of my lunch so but i thank y'all again for joining me i really enjoy doing these vlogs for you all and like i said let me know leave me a comment down below let me know if you want me to try to do a live vlog a lunchtime uh vlog and um uh, that way some of y'all can interact with me. But y'all have to understand, it would definitely be between, say, 12.30 and 1.30 uh, Central Standard Time in the afternoon because that's about the time that I take my lunch and I only have 30 minutes. So I wouldn't be able to stay on long. Uh, just, you know, long enough to kind of chit chat with y'all. But anyway, that's gonna do it for me. And as always, love yourself love somebody else and until next time y'all take care bye